This is the overall energy card at the bottom and we will get to it towards the end of the reading. So if we move over to this one first, kind of this is how April starts, but the energies are there for the whole month to utilise or learn or um, pull upon. Heal away addictions. It is time to let go of behaviours that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. Now, addictions, as you all know, come in many ways. We can be addicted to foods or drugs, lifestyles, hobbies, people, relationships, energies, um, social fads, um, materialism, any of those things. And what it usually says is when we have one of too much of those going on in our lives in one way, it creates imbalance. So when you are focused so much on one particular item, so let's say, for instance, you are really um, either addicted to work, like you're working crazy hours and you can't stop the work because you just, it feels like a part of you, like you need to do it to feel satisfied or to feel complete or to feel um, successful. So when you are putting all of those hours and energy into that one part of your life, which is sort of a bit addictive, you're then not focusing on all the other potentials in your life, such as your relationships or your um, hobbies or your other passions or other people or other joyful experiences. So that was only one example, but it's the example to say that addictions usually take over our lives to a certain degree, that it prevents us from living to the full and enjoying other things, other people and relationships in our lives as well. So it's, um, it sounds as though it's a clue here for you guys to either rethink some something in your life that is not leading you forward with enough options and um, positivity as well. It could be relationships around you. You know, sometimes we accept relationships that are not that good for us just because we don't know really how to let them go or how to move forward. And we come to this next one, let your past go, and she's kind of looking back into this. So the words on this card are, the burden of carrying your past around has made you weary, dear one. It's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it and now it's gone. So for some of you that is possibly the message to let go of this um, negative or shadowy type energy that might be around you and it could be in the form of a relationship. Sometimes we we hanker a little bit if we have lost something that we that we weren't sure how to fill the void when it leaves us. But as you move forward, every time a door closes, a brand new one opens and it leads you into a better place because you're learning along the way as well. So there's another wonderful saying and it's called, there is no future in the past. And that's a really good one to remember if you're, if you're feeling a bit hurt or sad about something that you are going to have to leave behind. And sometimes this could be a job even or a house, if you're moving house, or a car that you're even selling. You know, and we get a bit attached to things and we can be reluctant to let them move on. They're moving into the past. So if we keep looking back there, we're preventing our future from happening. By the very nature of looking back all the time, we can't ever be in the present or, or aiming to be in the future with our plans. So I think that's a sort of a message there for you. It's definitely in those first few cards. And Athena, inner wisdom, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. I always think of Leo's anyhow, you're this big, strong, fire energy. It's like, I don't even think of you as being, you know, in a position of weakness very often because you do have an inner strength and an inner firepower that you can crank on up and almost get yourself out of any situation. So again, trust that inner instinct, listen to yourself and your divine wisdom and work through situations and move forward. And she is nicely looking forward into the reading. And again, we've got this here, I am presence. And this kind of feels a Leo energy. So this is Michael. You can work with him for the month of he's um, 
He's an energy that can perhaps support you or you can meditate with or you can ask for him to help resolve any issues or problems that are around. He's telling you, you, you are your own presence. You are powerful and divine. And again, this is very much Leo type magnificent power energy so perhaps the month started with you feeling either a little bit green or blue you know wanting some healing or taking a little bit of time out and then if you call upon yourself these two here you'll create that spark again that vivacious fire like and out comes the leo energy so it's sort of like you can do it yourself you can work through your things you can talk about it with your angel helpers or support people even around you but you can turn those wheels and get that leo energy back going again and bring the balance into your life and relationships and any other areas that need the balance and be this wearing of the crown again and showing your, your jewels off you know your powerful jewels and attracting others into your life because of your passion excitement and strength which brings us to this card which is the relationships card and this is down in the sacral chakra area which is kind of where this power shell is covering and there's water pouring out of this area so there may be something in your sacral chakra area that was blocked and that is known as the sex center um, you might pay to wear the orangey related clothing or have some orange in your house colors of it and pottery or ornaments or linen or um, also orange foods and especially the fruits and vegetables they can be really um, enlightening and they can help to move blockages away so I will read for you this particular card and what it means in the twilight hour of a new day, two familiar souls reach out to share a moment, a fragile first step of intimacy, or the gentle returning of a lifelong union. There is something magical about holding hands, a simple wordless moment lighting a circuit of energy from one heart and body to another. An invitation to look into each other's eyes or to turn together and face the world through a shared view. Not clinging or pulling, but loosely clasped, gently interwoven, each individual celebrated within a greater whole, and that is what is a relationship. And the message is, in the Mayan language there is a phrase of reverent greeting that acknowledges one of the greater gifts we bring to each other in relationships. The phrase is in la quiche and it means I am another yourself, similar to the Indian greeting namaste. In la quiche is a recognition of the divine within each individual. This card is an invitation to consider your relationships with self and others in this way. To see those around you in their highest light and to acknowledge yourself within this light. Stop for a moment and reflect upon your primary relationships with friends, loved ones, family and colleagues. Consider the balance of energy exchanged, the emotional wants and needs that each relationship gives and receives from you. Now is a good time to expand your respect for yourself and those with whom you share relationships. Look for the things that are great about your relationship and why you love the people you do. Explore your level of giving and your willingness to receive. Who do you hold back energy from and who do you perhaps over give into to compensate for some security or fear or loss? And it does match quite well with this card over here. It is time to honour the beauty and the sacred in your relationships. Acknowledge your own needs and wants and honour the needs of others. Look for the hidden gifts in each other. Accept each person for who they are without trying to change or control them. Empower yourself to be with those who inspire you and to inspire those you are with. Recognise each relationship as a mirror reflection and in a doorway to a greater realisation of your true self. Life is relationships. 
support each other and grow to shine. So there we are, Leo. There is a lot in here about you and your relationships and possibly even um, some newness coming in as well when we've talked about the relationships. So some of you may even initiate new relationships one way or another. And again, this is open to many different dynamics or perspectives of the realm of relationships. 